Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In the coming months I'll be attempting to make some videos on location, starting in and around the UK, and hopefully one day I can get up to the Orkney Isles and see the fascinating Ness of Brodgar, a 5,000 year old breathtaking Neolithic site unlike anything else in Britain. It covers 6.2 acres of land between the famous Ring of Brodgar and Stones of Stennis, and the site has been excavated since 2003. It's an incredibly exciting site for archaeologists, a site with 20 foot thick stone walls, decorated stone slabs, vast amounts of pottery finds, tools and animal bones, as well as structures dating back to around 3300 to 3200 BC. The settlement was occupied for around 1000 years, being purposefully closed down and partly dismantled at around 2200 BC. As stated, to the southeast are the Standing Stones of Stennis, and to the northeast is the Ring of Brodgar, and a short land bridge connects the two sites where the remains of the Ness of Brodgar are located. The enigmatic Neolithic village of Skara Bray lies just a few miles away, as do a number of other ancient settlements, Neolithic mounds and henges. Due to the rising sea level over the past 5000 years, there must be so much archaeology now resting under the sea because although today there is a lake or loch to the northeast and also one to the southwest, in Neolithic times these were most likely wetlands. The architectural remains at the Ness of Brodgar are made of flagstone, a sedimentary rock found throughout Orkney, a rock that is easily split into flat stones, making it ideal for building projects using Neolithic tools. Interestingly, some of the cut stones have been found to be too thin for floor tiles or walls, and are interpreted as being used for roofing, which would be the first evidence ever found for a kind of roof tile. The site itself has a complex history, with numerous buildings overlapping, and I can go into the details of many of the structures in another video, because for the rest of this video I'll be looking at the most important building of the site, simply known as Structure 10. It was discovered in 2008, and excavators say this incredible structure is temple-like, the main focal point of the site. It has enormous walls, 13 foot in thickness, that were found to be still standing to a height of around 3 feet. The whole structure is 82 feet long, 66 feet wide, and there was found to be an unusual standing stone with a hole that looks somewhat like an hourglass incorporated into the walls. The inner sanctum is shaped like a cross, and the building is surrounded by a paved outer passage. This particular structure is believed to date back to 2900 BC, being partially rebuilt around 2800 BC, most likely after damage by a force of nature. It therefore predates the stones of Stonehenge, and is the largest structure of its kind anywhere in northern Britain. Although the standing stones of the Orkneys are what attracts the tourists today, in its heyday this temple would have dominated the ritual landscape, and it was the true focal point for the surrounding populations. Structure 10 went out of use between 2400 and 2200 BC, and it appears to have been ceremoniously demolished, a ritual that involved the slaughter of several hundred cattle. Shin bones from approximately 400 cattle were found. Bones that were laid around Structure 10, and an upturned cow skull was placed within it. The slaughter seems to have been one single event at the very end of the structure's life. The bones were also found to be cracked so that people could extract the marrow, and therefore the slaughter seems to have led to an enormous feast. Afterwards the remains of several red deer were placed on top of the broken bones, and then Structure 10 was largely destroyed. This event marked the closure and abandonment of the entire site of the Ness of Brodgar. But the Ness of Brodgar has been in the news this week because of a rare find of ancient human remains found below a wall of the temple-like Structure 10. What they found is one human arm bone, but what makes this find intriguing is that it was shown to be deliberately placed under a wall that was rebuilt, making it around 5,000 years old. Found by Dr. Joan McKenzie of the University of Bradford and archaeologist Charlie Scovel, the arm bone being around 8 to 9 inches long, likely to be from a woman's lower arm, has been photographed, carefully recorded, and a 3D model is being made. 
it clearly isn't a conventional burial. And interestingly, three years ago, archaeologists found another human arm bone, which was also carefully placed under the foundations of a rebuilt wall. The arm bones could be from the same person, clearly of extreme importance if her bones were deposited in such a manner, under what was a truly iconic central structure in Orkney. It could be an offering or dedication that was placed under the wall that was rebuilt. Maybe it was a sacrifice, or maybe not, but it seems to be an offering of some kind. Maybe so that Structure 10 could escape the destructive forces of nature in the future, whatever the event was that led to its original damage. Whatever the truth, there have been very few human remains found at the Ness of Brodgar, and therefore the new discovery is highly significant in our understanding of Neolithic Britain. The bone will be analysed, so we can learn about the height, age and health of the woman at her time of death, and we may even learn about her diet. DNA testing will also confirm whether or not the two arm bones are from the same individual. Thank you very much for watching this new story from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.